Hello, best friend, and welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having the most incredible day. This is the first time that you're watching my channel. My name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, honey. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, well, girl, you have found me. So why don't you grab a snack and a drink? Hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful. Best friend, happy Monday. I am so thankful and grateful to start the week off with you guys. I just know this week is gonna be very blessed for all of us and I just wanna send you my love. I wanna send you such positive vibes and today I'm looking like Big Bird's gay cousin and I am loving it, best friend. Listen, we gotta talk about Miss Taylor Swift because uh, Taylor and her opening act, Sabrina Carpenter, are under a lot of fire on social media after the concert in Sydney and Melbourne. So if you guys know, um, Taylor Swift is right now in Australia, you know, doing her heiress tour. And she has this opening act, her name is Sabrina Carpenter, which she has this beautiful song called In the Middle of Starting Over. You guys definitely should listen to that. The, 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 the message in that song is so beautiful. And actually, I remember when I first moved to Los Angeles eight years ago, I was, we were living in a hostel and for eight months actually, um, and there were rats. It was, it was, it was, it was intense, but I was very grateful. And there was this park in the, in the, in the front of the hostel. Um, they sold drugs and stuff there, but like it was all, but you know, during the day it was pretty. But anyways, I was, I, I always remember listening to that song and I'm just like, okay, like you got this, like it's going to be fine. So so I just wanted to share that with you guys. But anyways, best friend, um, I, I have to tell you that Sabrina Carpenter and Taylor are under fire because of a song that Sabrina performed. So every time that Sabrina ends her, her list, she sings a song called Nonsense, okay? And basically what she does is that she does this like impromptu rhyme towards the end, okay? So every time towards the end, she does a rhyme. So she, it, the original song says, this song catchier than chicken pox is. I bet your house is where my other sock is. Woke up in the morning and thought I'd write a pop hit. How quickly can you take off your clothes? Pop quiz, okay? So she changed it up a little bit. And um, let me play you guys what the reason why people are so upset. <laughs> So if you guys didn't catch that, okay? <laughs> Um, she said, she said, um, okay. Okay. Are you guys ready? When you go under, do you miss me? He's so big. I felt it in my kidney. Scream so loud. They heard it here in Sydney. She also said in Melbourne, she's saying, I don't say hello. I say good day, mate. I don't make a bevy. I'm a lightweight. Melbourne. I just came. I saw and I ate. So, the one that's getting a lot of, you know, backlash is, you know, the Felton in my kidney one, okay? He's so big, I felt it in my kidney, girl, okay? First of all, ow, okay? Second of all, girl, I'm not interested in that, best friend. I am not interested, girl. What? I don't want to feel nothing in my damn kidney, bitch, okay? Um. So anyways, so people are very upset, okay? I'm going to read you guys just some of the things that people are saying. They're saying, chill, there's children in the audience, Oh dear, there are children there. Lord have mercy. Spicy is one thing. Saying he's so big I felt it in my kidney is inappropriate. Um, and so on, okay? So the people are really upset over this. And they're actually starting to blame Miss Taylor Swift for having that and approving that. Well, Sabrina Carpenter has done that in every single show. She does different outros depending where she's at. So she does like a little cute rhyme at the end. Now, yes, Taylor Swift obviously does have a lot of, you know, children fans. Yes, and, and there's a lot of kids in the audience. Yes, but, uh, you know, I did read a tweet saying, you know, a kid is not going to catch that. Like a nine-year-old kid 
He's, you know, they're, they're screaming. Like, I don't know the, the, the percentage of, of them actually hearing and understanding, but, but since Taylor's audience is a lot younger, maybe don't say he's so big. I felt it in my kidney. Right. Um, but there's just something in my mind that's just telling me that Taylor Swift probably knew. I think, ta I think that, I mean, this is just my opinion. I do think that they go over it every day, you know, I, or, or Sabrina is a lyrical genius and she just comes up with it on the spot. But I do think that they kind of go over it and maybe her team, you know, says yes, or let's work on it or whatever. And I do think that Taylor's always so well, you know, everything is always so picture perfect, whatever Taylor is doing. And it's so incredibly organized that I, I don't, I don't think that something will, will go like that, you know, fly if Taylor would have, you know, seen it. I, or, or, no, sorry, I do think Taylor saw it and I didn't think Taylor had an issue with it. I think that Sabrina Carpenter has done a lot of sexual innuendos in her past performances and I don't know why this one is causing so much. I do obviously think that, hey, you know what, if there's children in the audience, just come up with something cute, sexy, and flirty, right? But I don't know, best friend, you know, it's just one of those things where it's like, like, you know, when I was a kid, I, I, I just remember like, you know, getting into like these, this older music and stuff. And, and there's a lot of songs that I'll listen to now that I was belting out when I was a kid and I didn't know what the fuck I was saying. You know, like there's a lot of songs that you are singing on top of your freaking mouth, you know, just loud as fuck in, in, in middle school or something. And then you, when you're a grown up, you're like, how on earth was I allowed to sing this? How on earth? And I didn't know what I was saying. You know what I mean? Like there's so many songs out there that have double meanings, right? You know, like for example, If You Seek Amy by Britney Spears. You know, the song, the chorus is like, love me, hate me, say what you want about me, but all of the boys and all of the girls are begging to If You Seek Amy. So the title is If You Seek Amy, right? But... We were singing it like there was no tomorrow. Come to find out, it means love me, hate me, say what you want about me, but all of the boys and all of the girls are begging to F U C K me. All of the boys and all of the girls are begging to F me. Girl, okay? And there were children in the audience saying that, Brandy, Brandy, all of the boys and all the, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't know what the fuck I was, you, know, you don't know in that time, right? So I think it's the same thing. I think it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, I don't think they're going to understand it. You know, I, I don't think they're going to understand it. But, you know, I even read a comment that Sabrina should get off the tour. Like, you know, this is really inappropriate. She's going to ruin this for Taylor. Taylor was so irresponsible. And I'm just like, girl, listen, yes, was it inappropriate? I do think it wasn't appropriate. But is it reason for cancellation or reason to get her fired or reason for Taylor to, to, you know, to never allow her back on stage? I don't think so, okay? She has done this before. This is not the first time. And I just honestly feel like, look, if I, listen, I want to know what the parents out here feel. Let me know what you think. I do think it was inappropriate. And I think that maybe that should not have been said, in my opinion. But it happened. I don't think the kids remember this. Also, no shade. She's an opening act. People, you know, opening acts are like on their phones. You know, they're they're getting their drinks. Like, I don't want to be shade towards Sabrina Carpenter. But like, people are waiting for Miss Taylor Swift. Do you know what I mean? So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. I don't take any of you guys for granted. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mwah.